What up, guys? It's your girl, Manny Meeks, and I am back with more Lucifer. And if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here. You're here. Let's be here together. Down below, share your thoughts. Go to my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Ben Meeks. So, if they're fully version of my reactions, as well as YouTube, play and select early access series. And also have a merch shop with t shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, all types of things with original designs on them. So, if you don't want to support monetarily, those are your two options. I got my Patreon and I got my merch shop. But you're not support monetarily, you can support free monetarily. How? You may ask. Subscribe. Why? Be out, it's free. It literally costs zero dollars to the subscription button and the notification bell to be notified of my videos. It's free. Come on, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So, last time on Lucifer was the hilarious, hilarious Dan episode. I don't know why I didn't immediately think about Lucifer when all the shenanigans were shenaniganing. I don't know why I didn't think about that at all. Completely completely left my mind until we got towards the end of the episode because things just kept getting more and more and more ridiculous um at the beginning we got to wake up with dan see his morning routine a bit him going to the office um and lucifer not wanting to do a uh what is it called a a extradition uh go get somebody and bring him back he didn't want to do that so he was like hey let's ask dan to do it dan says yes to everything so dan of course said yes to it and he was like i have a friend out of mexico so we can you know we can gravitate for a second while i wait and while i go pick up it'd be nice something to do helping you guys out so he goes down there his friend is like hey you want to be involved in my crystal venture blah 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 blah. it's so cool it's fun it's it's super risk-free and it's making a ton of money it's just selling random crystals to old the to rich housewives they ain't got nothing else to do and he was like you know what i'm just gonna hang out with you and we're gonna you know leave that alone however he wakes up next to a dead body and his friend is like, listen, this was a message from the Russians. Me and the Russians are bumping heads in this crystal business and I need you to send this package to them because they're threatening my family. And Dan was like, oh my gosh, absolutely. I will help you for your family, for the kids. You know, I will help you. And so it just gets crazier and crazier. He takes the box, gets the prisoner. The prisoner gets broken out by her gang members. The box gets stolen by the people. He calls on um, Lucifer to get help to get the box back. Lucifer and him do some weird scenario situationals to try to get the box back. He realizes there's a head in the box and it's not cash. His friend is, is actually a drug cartel person because I'm not sure if you could qualify the crystals as being enough to kill for, but whatever. Um, and so now he has to figure out how to uh send a message to the russians by killing their supplier i guess or killing their negotiator somebody like that and it just goes crazier and crazier and crazier and dan asks everybody for help maze comes in and helps but then at the end where there was a shootout with everybody with his um with his improv group the los exes i think that's what they were the russians his friend uh it, from mexico like everybody was shooting and it was just so funny at that moment i knew it was not a thing because why would his improv group have real bullets i was like there's no way <laughs> but it's it was so masterful and the thing is people were telling me that if you look if you go back to the episode and look at the board that plan is laid out and everything that Lucifer mentions, like how much it cost, is like Easter eggs to each one, to, to one of their adventures together. And I was like, you know what? That's right. And even at the beginning when he's on the bike exercising, it is a throwback to when they followed um, Charlotte around and she had her moment in the apartment, waking up, fixing her coffee, doing her stuff, doing her exercises and going to work. So they tried to mirror that as much as possible. And it's really cool. But I felt so bad for Dan because Dan was freaking out. And then he was like, you know what? I needed this and lucifer was like i didn't do this for you i did this for me because you fucking shot me and i was like you're right he you said yeah you did you did but it was an amazing episode i was not ready and i'm so glad that because i was so confused i was like this one of those episodes that i'm not gonna watch again because i just don't see the point like why would i want to watch this and then it got to the end and i would watch that shit over and over again just to pick apart what <laughs> stuff is <laughs> but on that note, let's go ahead and go into season five, episode 13, A Harmless Little Stocking. Like this is hilarity in its finest. I grew it inside my body like a little soul, baby. <laughs> like a little baby. glimpse into how Lucifer's father works, I guess it, it makes sense. What was that? Nothing. Ma'am, what are you doing? Who are you following? 
What is that? Hey, I can't talk right now. You are going to get hurt. I know what I'm doing. Girl, what? Is it her daughter? Ma'am, what is happening? We had a fun episode last time. What's going on? The impossible buckle is a time-honored craft of which I was recently reminded. Mm-hmm. And what about the prank you pulled on poor Dan? Very important business. That was pretty fucking funny. <clears throat> but maybe you're right. Therapy has ruined me. I've been overthinking all of my decisions when really the answer is at our feet. Just do it. Like, I, uh, one way or another, I need to know if, if we're together. That's it. Yes? Yes. Let's just do it. What? Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Right now? Sorry. Oh, you're horny. I mean, it worked. Let's just hope that's exactly how you feel and you're not doing something stupid. Morning, Miss Lopez. Uh, wasn't that where Linda was? She comes. Come back. Okay, fine. I have to know. We are. Definitely together. <laughs> Yay. Well, it's about damn time. Doctor. I did it. I killed him. Daniel, um, you could have warned us. What is it you desire? I... I want to protect my child. If someone is trying to hurt Charlie, we can help you, but how is getting arrested for murder going to protect him? I think our time is up for today. Girl, what? What you mean? Is that her daughter? Here, but please tell me you don't actually believe Linda killed somebody. She confessed, Mace. You killed somebody? Yep. Who? It was. <laughs> the best decisions are made in the heat of the moment. <laughs> the hypothetically, of course. And how did you kill them? Well, I busted him in the face with a gunshot wound. <laughs> <laughs> She's lying. We know. The gun registered to her is a 9mm. Ballistic says the murder weapon is a 38. Not a little harmless stalking never killed anyone. Yeah. Title. Is that why you bought the gun? No. I bought that after I was fried by a goddess and demons took my baby. Yeah. I know Adriana didn't do this. She couldn't have. Why not? Because... Because. Uh. Well, then I hope by now she's far, far away from here. She not. She over there. Yeah. She doesn't know about me and she can't find out. Not like this. <laughs> I killed him. What'd you do, girl? With what? Why? Do you have the murder weapon or any of the stolen items? I got rid of everything right away. Girl, got rid of it where? Girl, what? The guilt was too much. And then you saw somebody else get taken in for the charge or That's something? That's all I have to say. What's going on? Listen, ma'am, your mother. I don't know how splendid that is. Bruh, my baby's over here. You know she's lying, right? I don't know anything yet. Let's see what you got, Clive. Clive is dead, ain't he? Is Clive dead? I think Clive is dead. Beam background. Who the fuck is that? Why is she swinging that thing like it's not heavy? Who the fuck is that? Is that Eve? 
No. Girl, yes it is. Child. I'm like, that can't be. I'm just looking at her eyes. Like, is that Eve? Are y'all? Anyway. Listen. I. She loves the hell out of you, and I just feel so bad. You know, it was it was really quite clear. I don't know why it took me so long to realize it, but um, I had to become a bounty hunter. All right, bye. Wait. Aren't you going after that Clive guy too? We could go after him together. She's like, bitch, I don't want to fucking do that shit. <laughs> She's like, bitch, I don't want to fucking do this shit. What's an expensive piece of art doing in a crappy house in Van Nuys? Exactly what I'm wondering, Teach. Don't call me that. Ah! I hit my desk. <laughs> Excuse me, where's Adriana? Who can I talk to about her? Adriana Nassar. Somebody has to know something. Excuse me. Hi. Excuse me. Hello. Good evening. Shush. I'm Adriana's boyfriend, Owen. Oh, hi, Owen. She didn't do it, detective. Okay, well, that gives me enough to work with. Thank you so much, gentlemen. What the hell is... You don't want to know, <laughs> trust me. It's a lot to take in. Bro, I've had my mind blown. Figuratively and literally. So literally, he pretty did. pretty sure I can handle it. I think I'm going to become God. He <laughs> called Chalk! But enough about me, Dan. What about you? How are you doing, buddy? How are you recovering from recovered Lucifer from shenanigans? Prank, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good. I'm having a, a little trouble focusing on... I'm sorry. Hey, congratulations, man. I'm happy for you. Thanks. That's sweet. I'm telling you. I like sweet Dan. And she's connected with the guys all threatening my daughter. I mean, shady. Shady. Let's get her to fess up. Linda. You gotta sit in the car, honey. Right along me sit in the car. Bring you. I do think your privileged intel is valuable to the case, but you However, can't be there when we interview a Girl, you gotta sit in the car. I'll, I'll be outside. I don't believe any of that in your mouth. That sounds like she's coming in. Did you notice the words of endearment between the detective Sir, and me, as I mentioned previously, were suck. together? Stop it, suck it up. Uh -huh. Stop it. Together, together. Completely committed. No more will they, won't they shenanigans. Lucifer, sh she's not listening to you. What do you think? Yeah, mm hmm. Like Christine, what do you think? Absurd. What kind of art is transported in a flower bed? The stolen kind. But no, no, no. The detective told us to wait for her here. What happened to Mr. I fell on my head? <laughs> um, is that a plunger? Oh, that's a candy. Jimmy Evington? You the owner? Really, darling. I can pick anything? Oh, absolutely, darling. Then go ahead. <laughs> then go ahead, unsubscribed. <laughs> They're that so funny. Would look exquisite next to your vanity, sweetie. Ah, oh, the colors are so vibrant, colorful. Mm. <laughs> Good eye. We were wondering if you had something a tad more. Like, why are you walking like that? We understand you have a talent for acquiring art that is otherwise engaged. I have. I have a lot of darkness. And the big guy knows and doesn't care. He doesn't care. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ella, sweetie, cookie baby, honey. Come on. You. Mm -hmm. you see, I think if God was standing right here, right now, in front of you, that he would tell you to take some of that faith that you have. Put it in yourself, girl. And put it in yourself. That's where the vomit was. Can, can y'all just let her in? I really want her to know. She's the only person in the friends group that don't know. Okay? She don't know. You need to have more faith in yourself. I love you so much. I love her so much. She's a bright spot of sun. Just love it. All right, look, this whole finding yourself business is really freaking hard. Okay? It's not like you turn a corner and whoop, there I am. 
Hmm. I mean, you know where I was, you know what the song, you know what song. I, I kind of left some stuff out. Oh Lord, girl, are you involved in this shit? Okay, after I became a bounty hunter, I realized my happiness had nothing to do with the job. It's you. I was happy because I was with you. Of course I was mad. You left me, girl? You broke my heart. I did? Girl, why are you fucking smiling about that shit? Bitch, I will punch you in your titicles.